An art exhibition under the theme, Preserving Our Coral Reefs, took place here at the Diagula Art Foundation on May 20th, 2021. The exhibition commenced with the cutting of the ceremonial ribbon, which was carried out by Mrs. Patricia Minnis, wife of the Prime Minister. Guests in attendance for the art exhibit were school administrators, students, executives of the Diagula Art Foundation, and members of parliament, including the Honorable Ramal Ferreira, Minister of Environment and Housing, the Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd, Minister of Education, and the Honorable Dionisio James Diagular, Minister of Tourism and Aviation. A spirit-filled prayer was offered up by Sean Dean, head boy of Uriah Mackley Primary School. Our Father in heaven, may your name be holy. We invite you here today as we come together to celebrate the work of our pairs and others during this science exhibition. Pamela Armely, principal of Uriah Mackley Primary School, spoke about preparing the children for the art exhibition. This school year 2020-2021 has been one of numerous unforeseen challenges. And the journey continues with unfolding creative talents at Uriah Mackey Primary School. Trevon Taylor, grade three student, gave a testimony on creating his art project. My project is about a coral reef, which is an underwater ecosystem. It was made by using recycled materials. My creative project was designed with small wood pieces, a very sharp drill, a sticky lead pencil, and sprayed with white, blue, and green paint. The Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd, Minister of Education, brought remarks. Ms. Armely tells me that when Mrs. Diagula and Whitehead threw open the idea of a competition as such, that of the 600 plus students in the school, they receive over 500 projects. Think about that. Think about that. Think about the phenomenal impact that this introduction, a art club, now with some 50 plus members that meet every Wednesday, 50 members in an environment that one day a white priest at St. Augustine's told me that nothing good comes out of camp. We celebrate these young people, dear friends, and let's give them our highest and best regard in their future endeavors. Mrs. Saskia Diagula thanked everyone who made the art exhibit possible and presented Mrs. Minnis with a token of her appreciation and thanked school administrators. On behalf of the Diagula Art Foundation, I wish to thank everyone who made this event here today possible. Ms. Armelie, and to all of the administrators and teachers and support of Uriah Mix Free School, especially Ms. Knowles, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your art programming and a huge congratulations for inspiring our talented and creative youngsters to produce such masterpieces. To the students of Uriah McPhee, and please share this with your friends. We applaud your stunning artworks, and we also thank the parents and guardians who help their little ones complete their spectacular projects. Mrs. Patricia Minnis, wife of the Prime Minister, officially opened the exhibit. This is so wonderful, as Sasha has said, I love working with children, young women and girls, and we see what's happening here. And so I declare this exhibition open. After the art exhibit was declared open, guests were invited to view the creative artworks of the talented Uriah Mackey students. Minister Lloyd was asked about the importance of students having art as a part of their curriculum. It's critical to their wholesome development. We know how important culture is. It is the understanding of your own identity. It's the way we eat, it's the way we dress, it's the how we live, it's how we negotiate and engage one another. Uh, a, a nation leader once said that if he had only enough money and the decision was whether he should put money into an ambulance or he should invest it in art and culture, he would choose art and culture. 
because it has such a long-term positive and beneficial effect for his nation, his people, and I absolutely agree. Hopefully you never have to come to that decision. But there is so much benefit to these young people, especially at their ages, to now develop an appreciation for culture in the widest possible expanse that it is. It isn't just John Canoe, but it is also these expressions here that we see today. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate the contribution of Mrs. Diagula and Mrs. Whitehead in assisting the students at the Uriah McPhee School and also the commitment and dedication of the principal, Mrs. Armley and Mrs. Knowles, the science teacher. This is very, very encouraging, especially in an atmosphere where children are getting so much negative press and there don't seem to be as much encouragement, inspiration for them as we would like. And I certainly want to celebrate them today. Minister Ramald Ferreira was asked about the initiatives the Ministry of Environment and Housing put forth to encourage and educate the people of the Bahamas about the importance of preserving our coral reefs. We've had a number of them. In the first instance, we had the Be a Hero competition, which was targeting just young people, people in high school, people in primary school, to take the responsibility with their environment. So that was initiative number one. But I think the most important initiatives that the ministry has put forward is legislation. It's been a legislative and a very aggressive one of bringing to the fore of the Bahamian public these issues surrounding the environment. Mrs. Minnis expressed why it was so important for her to attend the event. I always say, if you invite me to places, I'm sure to come. When it involves the work of our children in the school, I would be there. When it involves the work of the Lord, I will be there. So it is delightful to be here this morning and see the work that Uriah McPhee and Mrs. Diagula is working with them. Mrs. Saskia Diagula explained why the Diagula Art Foundation demonstrates such enormous support to the children of Uriah McPhee Primary School. I had a, a remarkable professor when I was in university, one of my first courses that I took, and she said that children are born innately creative, that, who think out of the box, and who can solve all kinds of problems, and then in many classroom settings, we all program them to have the same answers to every question. And when they graduate and they finish all their schoolings, they go into the workforce or into the wide world, and they're expected to be creative problem solvers. So we wanted to add some creativity back starting at a very young age. And what better school than Uriah McPhee, where I knew Mrs. Smith and now Mrs. Armley, and they opened their doors to us and uh, gave us a beautiful space where we could have our after school art program, and the children were th so enthusiastic. The day after the official opening of the art exhibit, we were granted a wonderful opportunity to interview some of the young artists from Uriah McPhee Primary School. The students were excited to speak about their works of art. What was your art piece about? Well, I tried to get under the theme of two people snorkeling and exploring the coral reef, taking pictures of all the marine animals. I made a shark swimming in the ocean and a scuba diver snorkeling in the sea, looking at all the coral reefs and the marine animals. I made a coral. It was about coral, coral, treasure chest, and octopus. I made sea urchins, fish, and lobster. The students were happy to reveal the recycled materials they used in their art pieces. What were some of the recycled materials you used in your project? I used a medium-sized cardboard box to make my aquarium. I used the foil and some of the parchment paper for my shark and I use a doll head and foil and an old t-shirt to make my scuba diver's clothes. I use, we had a cardboard box lying around so I used that. And some of the leftover material from my mom's work, I used those to make the coral. 
I use two cardboard boxes to make the background and the floor. I use plastic to make the cards. I use a glue gun to glue everything together. I got sand to make the bottom floor. And I use clay to make the octopus. And for the treasure chest, I use cardboard box and I painted it. They shared what they learned about the coral reef while working on their art projects during Science Week. What did you learn about the coral reef while you were doing your art project? Well, I learned that coral reefs are one of the most diverse marine habitats in the world and that they host species that are nowhere else in the world. And I learned that most islands depend on the coral reefs for food. The coral reefs and how the coral reefs are being damaged by people polluting the sea and the, fun the fungi on the coral reefs are destroying it. I learned that the coral reefs are very important and they are endangered by humans like trashing the place and pulling them off and we need to save our coral reefs. Mrs. Chevelle Knowles, science coordinator of Uriah Macfrey Primary School, spoke about the methods used in teaching the students about the coral reef during science week. You had an entire week of learning about the coral reefs. Could you tell me a little about that? Uriah McPhee um, has a science week designated to learning about our environment and so we decided to study preserving the coral reefs of the Bahamas. That was our theme for the entire week. This auditorium was actually transformed into a coral reef. The whole auditorium? That's correct. And so the whole school contributed towards the reef. Each grade level had um, a living thing or an animal to make in the coral reef from preschool right up to grade six. We um, integrated that theme of conserving the coral reef into our lessons for the entire week. So if you were teaching mathematics, then you integrated it into math. If you were teaching creative writing, like how I love to teach, definitely we were writing about it. We were studying it so we were able to write about the conservation of the coral reef. I would read a listening comprehension passage to them about the coral reef when they came in the morning on their scheduled days. And they would have to answer the questions about what they heard and they would receive prizes at the end of the day. Mrs. Knowles advised of the assistance the school received from Mrs. Saskia Diagula of the Diagula Art Foundation. Also have been made aware that you got donations of art supplies. Tell me who, who helped with getting art supplies into the school. Okay, so I know uh, Mrs. Diagula has an art club at the, at the end of the day during school on the scheduled days. She comes and she spends a lot of hours here at Uriah Macri Primary School. So I know that she's a primary donor, um, one of the primary donors of, of the art supplies here and on a consistent basis, I might add, you know. So we're grateful to her for the contribution she has made to changing the lives of the students because we know that in speaking with her, art is a major that students get venture into and um, build their careers on. It was indeed a privilege to speak with the students and to view their creative works of art. Kudos to the teaching staff, administrators, and the talented students of Uriah McPhee Primary School on a successful Science Week and a remarkable art exhibition. I'm sure that this will be a learning experience the students at Uriah McPhee will not forget. For Red Talk, I'm Lisa Ballard. Want to stay in the know? Subscribe. Text 819-BMOE. That's 819-2663. Remember to like and subscribe to our social media platforms.